okay here we are back at number seven in the 35 ways to increase your business now number seven is advertise advertising doesn't have to be a scary word um, you just need to be aware of where your advertising dollars are going that's the main thing whatever money you do spend on advertising you need to measure its performance so am I getting a return on investment how much are you selling uh, sorry how much are you spending and what are you getting for those dollars that you are spending are you getting uh, sales or clients or depending on what you're targeting exactly you just need to be able to measure what you're getting for the money that you spend very important now with modern Facebook advertising it's so targeted and so specific that it's it's very easy to do it is a little bit expensive or it's getting more and more expensive but being able to target exactly your audience is very very powerful but you have to do it the right way so if you don't absolutely know what you're doing um, don't just throw money at it speak to somebody that can help you target your specific audience and are able to measure the performance that you're going to get out of your dollars now on top of advertising um, I'm just going to flick across here and show you a few ways of doing it the very simple way of doing it and what I don't recommend is buying ads wherever it may be Facebook Google wherever um, sending it to a sales page and then just hoping that they purchase uh, that's not good enough these days so we're going to have a look at a different way of doing it a little bit of, of a change what we want to be doing now is wherever you're placing ads you want to send them to an opt-in page and you want to be able to capture those leads of those people and that will add that to your mailing list your private business mailing list this is most important because once you have them on your list you can advertise to that list for free it won't cost you anything so although there is an outlay here to initially get them on your list to be able to retarget to those people and we don't want to just keep selling 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 we want to offer them a lot of value and uh, keep them in the know what's going on in the industry what's going on with the business of course um, helpful hips uh, tips and tricks all that sort of thing um, so that they stay on our list and they stay engaged with us so that when we do send them to something we want them to buy they're, they're more likely to buy so they've now become a warm customer from cold traffic to warm traffic so as you can see by this little diagram here the ads that we place we send them to an opt-in page where we might even want to give them something to opt to swap for their email address they will become on our list and then we can send them to a sales page like we were before they may purchase if they do purchase we can introduce an upsell to that purchase and then they're forever on our list um, and they're, they're forever our customers and even one step further than this one is once they're on our list if they don't buy we can actually pay to retarget to these people uh, even the people that don't join our list you can actually pay and retarget the people that even just visited your page just clicked on the initial ad so this is the power of modern marketing uh, modern advertising and as I said before once they're on our list this is free this is our traffic this we own this we own this list we can just send emails to them whenever we like so this is the way that we really need to be setting up our advertising campaigns in any instance uh, we should be creating our own email list of course no matter what so if you do have a bricks and mortar store uh, we should be collecting all the details everybody that comes into our page uh, into our sorry into our business we should be grabbing their details and adding that to our list uh, as well so that's just a, a visual diagram of uh, some ways that we can advertise and as I said remember we want to be building our marketing list we can use an autoresponder to do that and it will automatically do it for us and sending out emails it's all automated these days and I'll leave some links below um, have a look at it there might be even some 
uh, extra videos there, but some links on how we can set up and create our autoresponder, our email list, marketing list. And if you don't, of course, I'll leave some details there. You can get in touch with us, we can help do that for you. So when you do decide to spend money on advertising, don't just log on and throw money at it. You really need to know what you're doing and you need to measure the return that you are getting from those advertising dollars. Because it's all about tweaking, tweaking the ads, making them more efficient, making a higher conversion rate, uh, and we can adjust all that as we go along. So, as I said, don't just throw into it, but uh, very carefully. It is a great way to scale and move up your business, and uh, but you do need to be a little bit careful with it. So, check out the uh, details below, the extra uh, references below. And uh, by all means, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We can help you with that.